What is up everybody? So today I'm going to be discussing a few tips and tricks on this week's event week on GT Online, mainly, well, all round the double money and RP on the contact missions to help you out a bit with which missions are best for solos, which team ones, which are kind of ones to take your time on and so on. Um, I'm going to start off with saying that literally all of them have various types and I will explain that. Basically you've got multiple different contacts being Trevor, Martin, Ron, Lamar, Zachar, Simeon, Lester and I think that's it but they are all various types basically what that means is some of them are basically going to a location and blowing stuff up and then going back some of them are collecting things some of them are going around the map blowing up stuff to collect things various things like that um, I will basically start off with the list of missions. I don't know all by name, but I do know some of them from when I used to play them a lot on the 360 version. But we're going to start off with Titan of a Job, which is literally the very first on the list, which I think is why there's always someone on there. Well, there's always at least three people on there waiting to start it because it's just the first on the list so you just go on contact missions boom that one right just start it if you just want to get in and go that's the one most people start with basically involves going to the airport uh, taking out some Meriwether guards and then stealing a plane and taking it to the Sandy Shores airfield I think that is for Leicester um, but it also involves having to move a lorry with a trailer uh, out of the way but if you destroy the truck and trailer there is a um, there is a cargo ship container mover whatever that's called yeah that doesn't pick it up so you've got to somehow budge the trailer out of the way because if the plane gets destroyed in any way you failed um, but it has to be completely destroyed you can lose like a propeller still fly it and make it there and be fine this is because it's one of the classic GTA missions it is one of the ones where the longer you take on it the more money you get but obviously that money does stop at a certain point I think it's about 50 grand once it gets to the 50 grand time limit it's not gonna go up anymore I don't know how long you have to wait but the standard is about I want to say like 33 to 47 thousand so that's that one um, also another one is Los Santos connections really quickly the I'm gonna be putting on the screen which ones are good for solo to do on your own and which ones are good for teams being you have to have someone so tighten up a job you can do on your own but you take your time with it these are all opinions based on the hard difficulty so tighten up a job you can do on your own but you're gonna have to take your time about it mainly stick back sniper them you're done second Los Santos connections again you can do on your own but one part is about timing um, you can do it on your own but it's probably better with at least you and one other person just to make it a slight bit easier uh, mainly on the last bit which I'll get to but it means but the mission starts off in a random car park you've got to go to a deal that's happening in an alleyway take out the people there get into an SUV 
get GPS coordinates, jump back out of that SUV, get in whatever vehicle you were using, and then go to a, not a construction site, but it's a kind of workplace area um, site kind of thing. Take out some other people and hack a laptop. Now, there's a lot of people there, so I would suggest using a Hydra or a Savage or some kind of vehicle that flies that has missiles. The only reason why I suggest the Hydra and the Savage are because they are the cl the original, the old gen Pegasus vehicles and they don't have the uh, maximum uh, missile capacity. Basically they just they can just fire missiles non-stop. The Savage, all you got to do is hold down the whatever fire button you've got and it just goes constant the Hydra has a little bit of a delay time or a cooldown time the Savage doesn't modern helicopters and planes nowadays in game are limited to like I think like 30 to 50 missiles so it's better with them too but obviously once you've taken out the people and hacked the laptop um, you've got to then go to the air f not the airfield the LSIA and take out some people in a hangar and pick up a package now before you go to the hangar and collect the package what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the runway that is nearest to the left hand entrance and take out a white and red private jet first because if you ignore that go to the hangar pick up the package you will have to chase down that plane and if you're not in something that's fast that has missiles you're not going to do it and you're going to fail the mission that plane has to get destroyed so do that first go get the package take it back to Madrazo's house next is rooftop rumble I don't think I've got any clips of this because I was doing it but it I lost connection but rooftop rumble is very simple you go to a not an underground but it's a car park with a roof on it um, and take out a load of people there go to another destination which I think is a farm take out another group of people which one of them will drop something pick it up take it back to whoever it is you gotta take it to now all of the missions consist of like I said either blowing something up leaving or picking something up leaving if I no, if you know for sure that you don't have to pick anything up, go guns blazing, go missiles all over the place. If you're not too sure, be careful because you might have to pick something up. And if you blow it up, you got to start again. And if it's right at the end of mission, that's going to be a real pain in the ass. Ones that I can confirm that are not collecting are the Simeon blow up missions. There are three of them. Um, and you have to go to different areas of the map, blow up a load of cars, go back to his dealership. No, there's four, I think. I know there's ones, there's some on normal ones, and then there's the repo one where you've got to go into the um, storage warehouse, take out the cars, special vehicles underneath, and all that. Um, but those ones, you just blow stuff up, you haven't got to collect anything. I will suggest, and most most people who've been playing GTA from the beginning will know, if you're going to be doing contact missions, you need to have a vehicle that has weapons on it as the start, or use it at some point, because it will make everything that much easier. So these vehicles are the obviously the Oppressor Mark II, the Deluxo, the Oppressor Mark I, Scramjet, the Vigilante, maybe even the um, what's the James Bond one? I have completely forgotten, and I Stromberg that one. Um, basically, just have use a vehicle that has has weapons because it's just going to make it that hell of a lot easier. Also, the Gerald missions, 99% of them are collecting something so don't go in guns blazing and just as an example of a mission to not do as solo 
unless you are very good. Um, the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's very difficult for doing it on your own. I'm going to have a clip of it anyway. But when on hard, the AI or the NPCs weapons seem to be like a million rounds a second like it will just it's like a just a chainsaw of bullets just firing at you it's, it's it seems like it's faster than a bloody minigun these bullets are coming out at so and they are mad accurate now they'd be able to shoot you in the head from 500 miles they're that they're, they're insane I don't know why but they seem to have gotten a bit more difficult since the um, old gen times so just be wary of that when you do it on hard be ready for some mad robocop john wick styled npcs coming at you because it's going to be crazy but hopefully that was a little bit useful for you um, if you've got any comments or any ideas that you use or strategies you use uh, to complete these type of missions then leave them in the comments below leave a like if you did enjoy and if it was helpful and obviously don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified on any vid videos and updates that I unleash to the channel and I will see you all next time